Okay, we are going to go through step one of shading shapes into form. Uh, we're going to start on dividing up the paper and drawing the cube to start out with. So the first thing we're going to do is fold our bigger piece of paper in half. Just put a crease down like so and then fold it in half the other way. And then do another crease. This is just to divide our paper up into four equal areas so we can draw four different forms. All right, now I am going to kind of outline these creases just so you can see them. You do not need to outline them on your paper. Just want you to be able to see them on the document camera. All right, the first thing we are going to do is we are going to turn a square into a cube. So. What we are going to do is draw a square just right here in the bottom left hand quadrant of this top right hand area. Okay, um, You need to make your square about three inches by three inches and don't do it right on this line. Go up just a little bit, not a lot, but keep it over on the left side Okay, and draw this light. Anything that we draw to start out with we want to draw lightly because you never know when you have to go back in and erase try to get your lines as straight as possible and then you should have something that looks similar to this I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you can see this section now all right the next thing you're going to do is after you get this square you're going to take your ruler and you're going to put it at an angle in this top left hand corner. Okay, We don't want it real, real sharp, but we want it kind of angling down. And you're just going to lightly again draw some lines, go out a couple inches, and then you want to move this to your next corner, but try to keep that same angle. Draw another line and then come all the way down. I'm just going to use the other side of my ruler here so it keeps that same angle. And do the same thing over here. So you have three different angle lines. Then the next thing you're going to do is take this, line it up at the top of your box, and then you're just going to slide this up, keeping this line parallel to the top of the box up so far. You don't have to go all the way up to the top and go until you hit the second line. All right, so we're going anytime I hit this line right here. Then you're going to line it up with the side of your box, and you're going to slide it off trying to keep it vertical until you hit that corner and then come down. All right, so we have some extra lines in here that we're going to have to erase. But that should give you a cube to start out with. All right? Okay, the next thing we need to do is decide where our light source is going to be. We are going to put our light source in the top left-hand corner on all for all these forms that we're going to be doing. And since it's coming from this way, we are going to keep our top value the lightest. It's going to be a number one value. But because it's hitting uh, straight against this top, we are going to actually put a few breaks. Again, you want this kind of light to start out with, so make sure that's not super dark. But put a couple of eraser breaks in here, and it just looks like the line is shining down directly on that. And then this side is going to get a medium amount of light, and then this side is getting the least amount because it's opposite of our light source. So it's going to be the darkest. So I'm going to show you really quick what it looks like before and then show you a couple shading techniques. All right, so here is the cube. This side is our number seven value. This is about a four or a three. Okay, and then the top we do nothing. Light outline and a couple erasure breaks in there. Okay, and I'll talk about the cast shadow here in a minute. So when you shade this, Again, I would use a regular pencil. It's a lot easier to shade with a regular pencil than a mechanical pencil. Start out with that medium side and choose a direction. If I'm going to go up and down. Okay, so I'm going to try to fill this in as nice and neat as possible to fill this whole area in. Okay, and try to keep it nice and even. And let's say I filled this whole thing in. Now, since this is a large area, this is the only one I would do this on. I would take a tissue or a piece of paper towel even after you filled in the whole thing with pencil then go in with tissue to blend this in rather than using your blending stump because your blending stump is going to make some lines in there. OK, 
okay you can kind of see it's hard to see on that one but uh, when you use a bleeding stump a lot it will create lines in there so this the tissue will help keep it even all right, so I'll erase that. And then over on this side, we're going a seven, as hard as can be. Again, uh, you should be able to just kind of fill that in with your pencil. If need be, go in with your tissue again and try to smooth that out. Just be careful if you come over on the outside and it gets smudged, then clean up those lines when you're done. Okay? So your cube should look something like this. Now, let's talk about the shadow cast shadow. We are going to have a small white space here and our shadow is going to come out and it's going to go from a 7 to a 1 out. Let me show you how to draw that cast shadow in. Now whenever you draw lines for your cast shadow do them lightly. You do not want to outline your shadow, your cast shadow. Never outline your cast shadow. Never outline your cast shadow. Alright so you to know where your cast shadow goes line up the ruler with the bottom of that square and lightly just extend this line out. I'm going to go a little bit darker so you can see it, but do it lightly. All right, then you're going to keep this same horizontal line, try to keep it horizontal, go up to the next corner and do the same thing and come out. Okay, now the end of your cast shadow should angle just a little bit, but it's going to fade out so you will not see this line here. All right, so if you're drawing these lines, draw it there and then lighten it up. So I'm going to lighten it up before I get started. All right, then what I'm going to do to start out with is I am going to take my ruler and draw that really tiny white space line in here to make sure it's crisp and clean. Let me zoom in on that just a little bit. All right, then you're going to start out with a 7, so I'm going to start out really, really dark. And now you are going to gradually change it to a 1. We're going 7 to a 1. So it's lightly going to get lighter and lighter. So I'm using the side of my pencil. Try to keep it nice and even. And then I'm going to bring it out so far. Now on this one, I would use your blending stump. Okay, I wouldn't use the tissue because I think it's going to get a little messy. So come in with your blending stump, smooth this out, and see if you can smooth this out to a number one value. Now when it starts getting to the number two, number three, you're going to see it's going to get really, really dark and where you need to get it lighter. So what I would do Notice how you can see all the pencil lead on your blending stump. You need to erase it. So take a, a brick eraser. It could be white, it can be pink. Try to erase off that pencil lead. And then take about your number two value or your number three and see if you can pull it out into your number two value. Okay, so we're going to bring that out and try to even that up so it's a nice gradual change. Okay, and I can still see some of my outlines, so I'm going to go back in and really make sure those outlines are erased all the way and clean up any edges that need to be cleaned up. Alright, so that is the shading of the cube. Let me show you one more example here really quick of what the final product looks. Let's review through it. Light source top left, so it's light here, dark on the opposite medium here all one solid value all one solid light medium dark okay shadow little tiny white space starts out with a seven gradually goes to a one no outlines no outlines just comes straight up so that's what your first uh, cube should look like